Hey guys, what's up? It's Cole Steel here with a quick and easy movie editing tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to do the widescreen slash cinemascope effect. Now, what is the widescreen slash cinemascope effect, you may ask? Well, that is when you're watching a movie and you see the black bars on top and the bottom of the screen. That is the widescreen slash cinemascope effect. So now, the way to achieve this effect is pretty simple. Now, a lot of people believe, and I do mean a lot of people believe the best way to achieve this effect is just go online, download a PNG file of the black bars or a Photoshop template of the black bars and just go back into your editing software, slap that onto your footage and just go ahead and readjust your footage and then you're good to go. That is the one easiest way to do it. It is also the wrong way to do it. So today I'm going to go ahead and teach you guys how to do it the easy way and the right way. So let's get started. As you can see, I have my JPEG footage right here. It doesn't matter if you use a JPEG or actual footage, it's going to all end up in the same way at the end. So, anyway, let's go ahead and just drag this to my timeline. All right. As you can see, it's nothing really special. It's just a square, really. Nothing widescreen or cinemascope about it. You can see I have a lot of negative space on the top and some negative space at the bottom. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and fix that. So anyway, first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and go to Sequence, Sequence Settings. Oh, I should be, tell you guys, you can do this in any high-end, any software, uh, Final Cut, uh, Sony Vegas Pro, Avid, and Premiere Pro, which is I'm in right now. I'm in Premiere Pro CC. So anyway, you can do this in any high-end editing software. It don't matter. Anyway, let's continue. As you can see, my footage, or JPEG photo, is 1920 by 1080p. Now, a lot of people will just keep it like that and then slap their black bars on there. Again, that's not the right way to do it. So, what's the right way to do it? Simple. You go ahead and change the 1920 to 17. And go ahead and press OK. Alright, as you can see, nothing happened. No problem. All you gotta do, get rid of your footage and bring your footage back in. Boom! You are now in the widescreen slash cinemascope effect. I can see there's a little bit more negative space up here than I want. No problem. Click my footage and the heck? Alright, yeah. Go ahead and bring it up some. And Yep, that should be good to go. And there is your effect for your widescreen and the cinemascope effect. Pretty easy. And you don't even have to go online to do it. So anyway, all I have to do now, just go ahead and render that out and you'll be good to go. Now, that is the 1080p version. What if you have a 720p version of the, fo of the photo? No problem. If you have a 720p version of the photo, all you got to do is put in these numbers instead of 1920 by 817. Just go ahead and put in 1280 by 534 and then you go ahead and get the same results. Anyway just go ahead and render that out and then your finished result should look something like this. Play that for you again. And there you go. That is how you achieve the cinemascope slash widescreen effect legitimately. That is the correct way to do it. And you don't, again, you don't even have to go online to get a black bars or anything. You can just do it right in your editing software. Easy peasy. Anyway, that is it, guys. Thank you for watching. And of course, as always, bringing you guys into World of Entertainment. I'm Colin Steele. If you like this video, make sure to smack that like button. It helps me out a lot when you guys smack that like button. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll holler at you guys next time.